Hello there. It's the holiday season, honey. Why do I start singing when I get excited? Because that's my business. Okay, you know how when you get new pots and pans, I don't know if it's just me, but when I get new pots and pans, honey, I get excited and I be ready to cook some. I be like, ooh, I can't wait to rinse them out and just get started with the party. And it's holiday time. Get into my new pots. Ooh, look what's say. Ooh. Look at this teal. Can y'all see it? Oh my goodness, honey. It's so beautiful, honey. You know, when green and blue get together, honey, they make a whole entire party right there. Wait, let me show you my other one. Because they come in all different sizes and things. Get into this one. I think I'm about to put some yams in this sucker right here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. You know the thing I love about them, they have so many different colors. But this teal right here. Do y'all see that? Oh my God. Y'all wanna make some yams? I do. Let's make some. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna start with some chopped yams, like so, like that. Then we're gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, now we're gonna add some cinnamon and nutmeg and a little bit of chia seeds, okay? Like so, like that. Okay, then we're also gonna sprinkle some brown sugar on there, like so, like that. But as much as you want to, because that's your business, and we do it by the spirit in here. But these are candy yams, okay? This is the holiday treat right here. And then you just go ahead and add your butter, like so, like that. And then we're getting ready to go on and put it in the oven. You know what I love about uh, candy yams? This is a tradition that started with me and my husband. I mean, of course, I ate them all the time as a, as a kid, but I never cooked them. But when my husband and I moved in together, I didn't know how to cook yams. And my aunt taught me over the phone how to cook my yams. And so every year, this is the tradition. I make them exactly the way that my aunt taught me. And of course, now I make them vegan. But it's a tradition that I keep going. So I'm excited about making them. Um, sometimes traditions just bring back good memories, don't it? Yeah, and a new pan. <laughs> now I'm going to be thinking about this pan, child. But very good. Look at that size. Honey, this is a whole lot of yams, honey. We all finna eat good, okay? And have leftovers. Ooh, I love the depth in that. Okay, I'm like a kid in a candy store, honey, with new pans. But that's my business. Mm-hmm. Let me get these in the oven. All right, let's go ahead and cover them up. Get it ready for the oven. Go ahead and slide it on in. And we're gonna bake it for about 30 minutes on 350. Couldn't resist. I had to use the big pan, too. Let me show you what I got cooking. Let's get into it. Ooh, come on, meatballs in there. <laughs> Did y'all smell it? Oh my God. Oh, honey, we finna be eating, eating tonight. Mm-hmm, it's finna be good. Okay, so after 30 minutes, we're gonna take it out the oven. All right, you see how it's looking? They're not ready yet, but now you just wanna stir them up real good. Okay, you stir them up. You see, you got the... Now you're gonna cook them uncovered so you can cook that water out of them. And that turns into like more of a syrup, okay? But they cook them covered first so they get soft. Some people boil them, but I don't do mine like that. But if you do yours like that, that's your business, okay? Now, we're gonna cook them uncovered for another like 20 to 30 minutes, all right? Okay, so now we've taken it out the oven and you see how some of the water has cooked all the way down. It's just a little bit left in there, but this is when we add our marshmallows. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and add the marshmallow, like so, like that. Okay. Honey, and then sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top before you put them back in the oven for about 10 minutes. All right, and then you take them out. I always like to char my marshmallows a little bit, and these are vegan marshmallows, so they char a little bit extra. But honey, get into it, get into it. Ooh, you gotta let it sit for a few minutes so it can uh, thicken up the syrup just a little bit. But ooh, my God, my God. And then if you want to, you can stir it all up like so, like that. Ooh, let the marshmallows just be melted down in there. Mm, my, my, my. Well, honey, that's it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me put my top back on. Ooh. Honey, I tell y'all, I love these pants. <laughs> simple things honey sometimes it's just the little things like some new pots and pans to get you in the right mood and this color is a very good mood color deep teal like hmm. that's how you can just listen to your pans cooking something hmm. you ain't got to do that but that's just my business so if you want to order either of these two 
I'll tell you the ones that I have. So this is the Heritage Signature Rectangular Four Quart Casserole um, Pan. And then this one is the Six and Three Four Quart um, Signature Oval Casserole. And one more thing I forgot to mention that I do love because the cast iron enamel, you know what that means, long lasting, easy on their chipping, okay? No scratches and stains and things like that. Honey, very, very good. Yes. Look, okay, Lucrece. Okay, see how I got that name? Honey, <laughs> tell me, look, I be saying the names, all right? So I hope you enjoyed. Yes, very good. Now, go on about y'all business, baby. Have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's here. Love y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.